I saw Fat Joe was out here with the Vice President Kamala Harris letting the people know some of the things they are working on. She says she and Joe Biden has pardoned a lot of people who were convicted under federal law of marijuana offenses for simple possession, and that she don't believe anybody should go to prison for marijuana possession. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Fat Joe live from the White House. You know, I do my thing with health care price transparency, but today I've been called by the Madam Vice President to be the moderator on justice reform and cannabis reform. Hey, everybody. Voila. So Yo, Bay Area. Bay Area. <laughs> 106.1 KML, you remember that? I, I remember that. Yeah, that was a legendary right. radio thing. If I got my record, Chewy right. Gum, let you me tell you something, Chewy, Chewy Gum, if I got my record played there, I was big right. time. Chewy, Chewy in the you morning. You know, they call me morning. the East Coast <laughs> E-40. It's okay. No, no, that's All what right. they call me. I'm, uh, this is a video for another purpose. No, but we... we <laughs> that's like Chewy. I love Chewy, and I miss right, him too. Okay, so here we are. Let's talk about why I was invited to moderate, and um, I leave everything for you. So we're here today because under our administration, Joe Biden and my administration, we have pardoned people who have been convicted of under the federal law for marijuana offenses for simple possession. And as far as I'm concerned, nobody should have to go to jail for smoking weed. So Fat Joe's with us here today to That's talk right. about how the lives of the people who have been pardoned have been affected by this. And frankly, all the, more, the work that we have to do. We have done work that has also been about having the Small Business Association stop preventing people who've been previously incarcerated from getting loans. So now people who are previously incarcerated can get loans. We are making sure that as those who are incarcerated are coming out, that they are connected with Medicaid benefits before they leave. So when they come out, they can re-enter and do what they want to do in terms of living a productive life. Well, I'm honored to be here. I'm your moderator today. Thank you, Madam Vice President. Thank you, Fat And Joe. we're going to make it happen. Later. If you have stayed with me to this point of the video, consider subscribing, hit the like button, and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.